So what happens when the people asking for software can now vibe code apps themselves? I saw a LinkedIn post about somebody building a health application who wasn't technical <laughs> and being like, wow, with vibe coding, I built this app for $100. I don't need to hire a dev team. Any patients who are putting their personal information into something that hasn't been verified, we have to be very careful. If you're a skilled developer, you have your best judgment. What am I comfortable deploying? What are the promises that I'm making? I think this gold rush of people being excited can lead to some challenges. That whole workflow of design, product management, requirements, and development is going to be much tighter. And I always appreciate it when we, we integrate much more closely. This merger across design tools, product management tools, coding environment, and so forth, it's all starting to mix. And we'll see how everybody defines their niche. Vibe coding is the new Excel. So now that prototyping is easier, alignment matters more than ever. To prevent bad ideas from shipping, we have to get design, product, and developers to start building together.